Hey folks, welcome back. It's Yo Mama's Nuggets, but you can call me Nuggets. We're back playing some Minecraft with the Simple Life 2 mod pack on the Simpletons official server. Make sure you check out their links in the description along with a link to the mod pack, my vidme, and Patreon. Also, click the like button if you enjoyed the vid and subscribe if you're new. Let's get going with what we're going to do today. I have set stuff up. I was a good nugget. I <laughs> got stuff ready. We've had a big update to the pack, which got rid of a couple of things, and so, that being aside the point, first thing we want to do is throw it together. I've also erased, or erased, gotten rid of a lot of stuff in here. This is going to be our immersive engineering room, but we do have a crude blast furnace here, and we are going to put a crude coke oven next to it. I'm sure anybody that's used this mod knows how to do it. It's not tough. You make a big square. But we're going to do it really quick. We are also going to set up a bunch of other things today. Click. There we go. And now we can put... Uh, so what we're going to do is grab a stack of coal blocks, grab this thing here, and do that. And now it's going to make coal coke and creosote oil. We need the creosote oil for wood for the rest of the mod. Meanwhile... You can see I have done a bit here to get some more steel. We need to get within range of the wireless transmitter. Alright, but there we go. Put that back, put that back, put that back. Don't need that either. Next thing. Isn't inside here. It's upstairs. Let's sprint on up there. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Next thing I want to do for the day? I think I've picked out some stuff to netherfy our ship. We're going to use ghost wood and blood wood planks, right? We got nether brick everywhere, right? It's all red. Ghost wood seemed right, and, or ghost wood seemed right for these because it would counter, stick out against the red that we were going to make the rest of the ship. Uh, then we are also going to make some nether brick fences for all this fencing this stuff here. And uh, we're going to turn the white wool into black wool. So I'm going to get working on that. I will bring you guys back when I'm about halfway done and show you a little bit. So I'll see you in a few. All right, guys. We're back. And as you can see, I've done some work. There's still a lot left to go, surprisingly. Not as much as you might think, but it's really red. And I do like the ghost wood. I'm hoping the black sails will help out a lot. I think I like that as opposed to the cobble. But I don't know. I feel like it needs something. I feel like it needs something. All right, guys. So what I did was I made some charred nether brick, and I'm using that as like an edging there, make it not quite so red, and I... I think I really like that. I think I also need to change this part here, which is where the ladder going up is going to go. Uh, then we're going to make a pier that goes over to it. Uh, that'll be out of red nether brick, though. Uh, but yeah, I think that's going to help a, a lot with uh, the way it looks. I wonder if this still... Yeah, that gives it a couple more, or like another layer. Yeah, I like that. Okay, I'm going to do the rest of this, and I'll be back with you guys in a minute. All right, guys. I'm back. And i got to tell you, it's taken me quite a while. But I want to know what you think. Bam. My another fired ship. I think it looks pretty good. I think it's matching everything pretty well. I need more black in this, probably. But, still. I think, I think it turned out fairly well. I'm going to light this up a little bit because it's having some spawn issues. Which, you know. Crew of the Undead on a ship from... The nether. Can you really blame them? 
They're just jealous. They just want it. They want it to be their ship. Nothing I can do. Except for tell them no. Not. Anyhow. Uh, yeah, so it took quite a long time to replace all the brick, all the wood. And I mean all the wood. I made sure I did not miss anything. Got the ghost wood in there. I added the bricks in a bunch of different places because I thought they looked cool. And uh, yeah, I actually really like the way this turned out. I think it, think it uh, is going to make a good go down the ladder. I use dark steel ladders. Ah, stop it. I think it's going to make a good addition uh, to the base. Just need to lighten it up a little. Keep the spawns out, you know. You know how that old chestnut. Alright, so. I'm going to sleep, and I am going to go and get ready for a little bit of immersive engineering. Because uh, we need to make... I can't even remember how to say it. We need to make the immersive engineering garden thing. Because uh, it is awesome. <laughs> it's like the best way in the pack to grow anything. And we are going to get our BLT, auto BLT thing set up. So I'm going to get that ready and I'll be back with you guys in just a few minutes. Before we do anything else, we're going to really quickly, hopefully really quickly, uh, make a um, thing that boats dock at a dock a dock because it must happen dang it Bobby all right so we're just gonna do this real simple like because we are a simpleton and that's what we do we do things simple like right should be should make sense. I don't know. But we're going to try and use Shamacacia and see how it looks against here. Looks like it's too high in the air. That's what it looks like. Beady bang bang. All right. So, how's that look? That look all right? I think that looks all right. I'd put one here, but I'm pretty sure it would start on fire. I'm not too unsure that that one won't start on fire. Uh, one, two, maybe we can try one here? I don't have a lot of acacia, so... It's what, two blocks in between, right? At least then it won't look like a single one. The boat may have uh, spawned itself a little close. It'll be fine. Very fine. Yeah, it's alright. That's dealable. I can deal. Can you deal? If you have any suggestions for uh, a different wood, let me know. But for now, uh, yeah, I'm going to go with that. That won't burn at all, so I'm not worried about that. But, uh, yeah, that's that's not horrible. I'm not hating that. Uh, we do need a couple of torch eye. For now. So we get some immersive engineering lantern. But, there we go. There's a dock. And our ship. Moving on. Oh, before I forget, something I did want to point out. When I was dismantling the ship, right here, right behind this wall, next to this bookshelf, on both sides, um, is gold blocks. I don't know if you can see them or not from the other side, because I didn't pay any attention. But early game, if you start mine colonies and you want some gold, there's gold blocks. All right. So, what we're going to do now, uh, just to show you really quick, I, I threw a uh, fluid tank on there to pull the creosote oil out so that we had some. Uh, I grabbed some from it. We got that over here. I grabbed this creosote oil, 
grab this wood. We're going to throw these in here because that's what you do. And we're going to make some treated planks. After we do that, we are going to come back here. I have a bunch of mechanical iron mechanical uh, components. I made nine lanterns just because it was a number of lanterns. We are making this thing. We're going to make this garden cloak. C-L-O-C-H-E. C-L-O-C-H-E. C -O -C -H -E. C -O -C -H. There we go. That. We need these. We need these to be a thing in our lives. And we are going to make apparently two of them. Because we don't have class. Okay, so we got nine of these things. And these are amazing. If you didn't know, if you hadn't used it, we are going to set them all up. Uh, I kind of want them down here, but I don't because they're immersive engineering and they're not necessarily ugly. I kind of want to put them all over here. They are three high, though. So we're going to need more space. We can put them downstairs. Why not? But we need these things oh, because, before I forget, lettuce and tomatoes. All right, this stuff here is going to all go away. Okay, so back once again. Um, so uh, it, these things need power and they need water, right? It looks like power comes in the top, and I believe water might come in the back. So I made stuff. Um, I don't know what good one more of those is going to do me. I don't think I'll need it right now. I'll probably make that bigger in a minute. But for, time, for the time being, we got that. We got an infinite water source. All right, so we got fluid. And the all the fluids... And the fluids and the flu. Um, so I'm gonna hope that if I do something along the lines of that, it'll have water. Does it have water? Doesn't say it has water. Is it because this isn't configured to push water out? Uh, no, we want to extract. We want to insert. Now do you have water? Eh. Um, can I make it? Uh, get a wrench. Do I need a wrench? Where's wrench? Where is the wrench? Pretty sure I need one. Um, because I don't recall having made one yet. To tell you the truth. I don't even see it. I could have just typed in wrench. Probably would have made life easier. Here it is. Iron. Okay. So we go upstairs and make a wrench. We take wrench downstairs. We scream and yell because of things. All right. uh, and then we use wrench. To click on that. I think that might be out. There we go. There we go. So, like I said, we do that. Okay, guys, I figured it out. Uh, it took me a minute or two. Anyhow, uh, I threw some just the some conduit up here, ran that to the conduits, and now those are all powered. Now I do need levers. Do I have levers? I have one more lever. Uh, that's fine. It's very fine indeed, because uh, I can get some sticks, and I can get some. Some, yeah, that might work. Some of that. And we can just make levers on the fly because, you know, reasons. Uh, all right. So now we put the levers in the front. And we'll uh, just do it on all those. For front. Now, what I was forgetting <laughs> is dirt. Put dirt here. Put seeds there. And uh, then magic will happen. Except for not in that one because it doesn't have an on off switch. But as you can see, that thing's already started growing. Uh, I thought they needed to be on off, but apparently. Oh, I turned that one off. So there you go, now it's on. 
So these things are phenomenal. Now, I should be able to put um, just a few things in here. I mean, right now I got lettuce going. Look, the lettuce is already stacking up. So our BLT's got two things to let us go, and we're going to go with a third. You only need one seed as well, and we're going to grab a tomato seed for our tomatoes, because we needed the tomatoes. There we go. And just like that, we've got lettuce and tomato going. We've also made some iron. Um, I could put inferium in one of these, but I don't need inferium. This one obviously isn't turned on. We don't even need this. But, so this is going to be our growing room. We're going to get rid of this jazz. And we are just going to use these things. Immersive cloches are awesome. And we can get rid of these, which I accidentally connected to the system. So there we go. When you come back next episode, guys, these will all be filled. And I will likely have another row of them. I'm going to make compacting drawers and put them on the backhand side here, or just uh, storage things for that matter. Uh, or maybe maybe what I'll do is take item uh, yeah, item conduits and I'll put it on the front here of anything that isn't uh, compactable, like the Mystic Agriculture stuff, just for the lettuce and tomatoes. Uh, I'll probably group those together, and I'll put item conduits on the front, and I'll run the item conduits back into the dimensional transceivers so that those can go up into our system and by the time you come back I should have a pig spawner so we can have some uh, nice piggy wonderfulness coming in and then uh, we'll work on auto crafting for our BLTs but I know it's a short episode guys but that's about all the time I have for this one it's your mama's nuggets thanks for joining me uh, I will try and make sure the episode is on time next week Real life and technical difficulties happen, so we're a day off, but uh, also going to have a later stream this weekend, going back to some Forever Stranded also. Uh, as I said earlier, I am a simpleton. All their links are in the description. Check that stuff out. Thanks a lot, guys. I will see you in the next episode.